Ironically, the universe keeps telling us we have a spiritual problem. Well, how often will the universe keep knocking at our door with solutions? How many times will it take before you realize what is truly valuable? How much will you receive from that which you continue to demonstrate through your actions has no value? If you don't value people's time and energy for what they are attempting to do spiritually for you, what kind of incentive will true spiritual empowering knowledge have to come forth and help you? Do you resent spiritual teachers asking for money? Do you judge spiritual guides asking for money in exchange for coaching products or services? If you do, consider that this thought is more harmful to you than what you can imagine. In fact, it is destroying humanity's way of life. And not only is it destroying your way of life, it is preventing all of us from creating the world of peace, joy, and love we are all aching for. Listen in now all the way through here in this audio training and learn why you must change your perspective now on this subject. For if you do not, life or the universe will claim an even bigger price than the one you are paying for right now. You have to ask yourself, do you resent letting go or investing the money and the time that you have on what is important and truly valuable? Consider the following statements. Really Pay close attention to this. Listen to this carefully. I would encourage you that you strongly revise your spiritual view. Here's why. People throw money easily at those things they value the most. We pay millions and now billions to sports athletes who mostly sedate people through entertainment. But when politicians attempt to solve a nation's problems by asking you for money in the form of donations, people scream, greedy, corrupt. People happily throw massive amounts of money to entertainers in the porn industry, which again, mostly sedates people through engrossing entertainment. But when scientists, engineers, and entrepreneurs ask you to pay for their creative ingenuity to produce tools and means of improving and healing your life, people will quickly condemn them for being greedy capitalists. These thoughts are insidious and are destroying our way of life. And when you condemn the desire of people to profit and to create a dignified and prosperous life who love spirituality and have dedicated massive amounts of time and energy to create a fresh perspective for you to benefit, you claim it is evil commercialization of spirituality. You pretend to value life with your comments, but are unwilling to sacrifice some value in exchange for what you claim is highly valuable. Now more than ever, people with varying spiritual perspectives can build platforms and voice what they believe has high spiritual value. It is a good thing, not a bad thing. People will happily and easily spend tens of thousands of dollars on cars, houses, clothing, and entertainment. But to pay a nutritionist, a health coach, 
a fitness coach, personal development books or courses, or spiritual guides. Most people will negotiate them down to a pittance. Ironically, the universe keeps telling us we have a spiritual problem. But how often will the universe keep knocking at our door with solutions? How many times will it take before you realize what is truly valuable? How much value will you receive for that which you continue to demonstrate through your actions has no value? If you don't value people's time and energy for what they are attempting to do spiritually for you, what kind of incentive will true spiritual empowering knowledge have to come forth and help you? If you toil and prepare a ground to plant seeds, but you don't plant the seeds of investment, not only are you not going to reap nothing, you will, in fact, reap weeds and useless produce. When this happens, you will absolutely know the meaning of exchanging your time and energy for you will be forced to do so since you can't plant anything in a weed-infested field. Isn't that what humanity is doing anyway? We saw the politicians asking for your support, and they didn't get it. Now we have exactly what we thought we were saving ourselves from. Greedy politicians pretending they are not robbing us blind. We saw entrepreneurs asking you for the fair exchange of their solutions. And we said no. And now we have crony capitalism selling and forcing us to buy expensive, unreliable, and often harmful products and services. We saw scientists offering their eureka moments, only ending up dead or having to sell their souls to a so-called healthcare system that only deals with symptoms rather than the cause of your ailments. Are we not able to see a pattern here? Ironically, people will wait and pay way more for emergency cures than the maintenance required to stay physically, mentally, and spiritually healthy. To save a few dollars, you end up paying an arm and a leg for a patch job. We have been ignoring the feel of our hearts and spirituality, and now we are dealing with the harvest of weeds where we are now begging for solutions from the harvest of others where we did not sow. The biggest evil is not profit or the exchange of abundance, but the desire for something in exchange for nothing. All right, this is the end of this riff. And if you desire to hack the law of attraction to make your dreams and desires a reality, I highly encourage you that you continue to listen to the Quantum Code for Life Secrets to Success by pressing that button and subscribe to my channel. Also, go ahead and put a like on the video so you can continue to be notified of all my fresh content. Consider being one of the first to comment by sharing what you like best so that fresh knowledge gets locked into your mind. I thank you for tuning in. And remember that you are an engine geared into the will work of the universe whose influence extends into infinite distance.